Hello and welcome to tutorial video number two for Walk for Parkinson's. In this video, we will be going over some of the important features of the Participant Center. To get started, head over to your web browser. In the search bar, type in www.walkforpd.ca. Once you're at the main page, you'll need to find your district. I'm from London, so I will click on London and District. If you have successfully registered, you should see a green button at the top that says Walker Login. Click on that and input your username and password. If you have done this successfully, a welcome message should appear at the top of the screen. To enter the Participant Center, click Manage Donations. And welcome, this is the Participant Center. On the left hand side, you'll see a very handy checklist to help you get started. Step one says, customize your personal page with a story about why you are raising funds for this cause. Let's see how we would do that. Scroll down until you see a section labeled personal page. From there, we have three blue buttons. The first one is to customize the web address that people can find you at. The website suggests putting your name or team name at the end. The second button allows you to edit the title and message of your personal page. Walk for Parkinson's has a preset message here. If you want to customize this, enter your message and click save. Finally, the last button allows you to upload a photo to really add a personal touch. Click choose file and find a photo that's saved on your computer. When you're done, click Save slash Upload. The second point on the to-do list is to add contacts to your email list. This is really important, as this will organize the emails that you've sent out. To do this, click All Contacts. If you have contacts currently, they will appear here. To add more people manually, click on Add Contact. This will ask you to enter their first name, last name, and email address. When you're done, click Add. If you want to speed this whole process up, click Import Contacts. This will give you the option to add a bunch of contacts from either Gmail, Yahoo Mail, or an export file from your preferred contact software. To add a group, click Add Group. Give the group a name and click Add. This will then group these contacts under their own tab, so you can send emails to only them if you choose. The other tabs are there to arrange different contacts. For example, who's been contacted, who hasn't been contacted, who needs follow-up, and more. Use this to plan the best way to raise money. If you want to send emails to a select group, you would click on the checkbox that appears next to their name and hit Email Selected. Say, I want to select all of my contacts at once, hit Email All. From here, simply type your message. You know your donors best, so make it convincing. You'll have a whole host of word processing options to really make it unique. And when you're happy with your message, you have two options. You can save it as a template or preview and send it. If you have saved prior templates, they will appear under this drop-down menu. If you don't want to personalize your message, select one of the options provided by Walk for Parkinson's event. If you return to the main Participant Center page, you'll have two other final options to customize. The first is to edit your fundraising goal. And the other is to make a personal donation. To do either of these, click on the appropriate blue button. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching tutorial video number two. We hope this helps you get started with fundraising. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to us or head over to parkinsonsociety.ca. Thank you so much and happy walking.